Good morning, day 12 in the Faroe Island. I woke up to this today. Look at how sunny it is today. And there's no wind. This is crazy. I am going to go out to check it out. I hope it lasts. I don't even want to wash my face or anything. I'm just gonna dress up and then go out. Apparently my host doesn't even lock the door. Wow, it is really the calmest day I've seen in Faroe Island. No wind. Oh my god. I don't know how long will it last. So I'm just gonna go out to explore a little bit this place. I don't even comb my hair. I don't even wash my face because <laughs> this time, really, maybe it lasts for one hour. Maybe it lasts for 10 seconds. <laughs> This is the little village where my hosts live. I don't even know where am I going to go, but apparently everywhere is nice in here, so I can just randomly stroll around. Oh, <laughs> careful, slippery. Wow, this is something new to me. Walking in the Faroe Island with my hair staying still without being all on my face. <laughs> I am looking for a good spot to take some photos. Wow, the weather is so nice today. It could be ideal if we go hiking today instead of that day with a crazy wind. <sighs> but it's okay. We have experienced something else. <laughs> Look at this lovely village behind me. Amazing! You know how calm it is today? I could even just use my selfie stick instead of a proper tripod in here and there's nothing blowing it off. <laughs> yes, it's not me. I know that she has a Dutch cousin. Yeah. They went hiking together yes. and the woman is missing. Yeah. I know her. I, 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 told, I, told her. I hope she's okay though. Okay. Yeah. Hello. Hello. I am here taking a picture. A local resident saw me and she mistaken me as the woman who went missing a few days ago. I thought everyone is so um, helpful. Everyone is actually helping to search that woman. I hope she's okay. But, but you may never know, um, this local resident is calling the police because it might happen that woman is like running away from the husband. So <laughs> I don't know, so it's good to confirm with the police. Because the woman who went missing is also a Chinese, and we have very similar features, that's why this lady stopped by and asked. The missing woman is a huge news in the Faroe Islands. Everyone knows about that, and so that lovely lady called the police, and on the phone the police asked me what's my name, what's my date of birth, and this and that, blah blah blah, and eventually it's confirmed that I am not the missing woman. I love it this way. I just have all my stuff scattered around. I have my DJI over there taking the time lapse and my DSLR here taking something and my drone here and my other camera recording over there and I don't have to worry about somebody's gonna take it. First of all, nobody's around. Second of all, people here are really nice. I mean, if it's in Madrid or whatever, if things are unattended like this, it will be taken within a minute but in here no such worries <laughs> okay i should be careful i shouldn't be like this <laughs> i should keep my things attended yes 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 don't run from me it's such a bad habit
was so nice but I found out basically you can see rainbow pretty much every day in the Faroe Islands. I remember the first day when I saw a rainbow I was so da jing xiao guai making a fuss it's like ah rainbow and my host Anna was like yeah rainbow <laughs> Apparently it's really, really common in the Faroe Islands. I am back. So apparently my host really doesn't lock her door. Just like the owner of that Chinese restaurant told me, people in here, they tend to not locking their doors, not locking their cars, and nothing bad is gonna happen. Because there are very few people here and the crime rate is super low. I think there are more people go missing during their hike or something than getting robbed, so. It's very safe here. Oh, oh, those cats, I almost stepped on one. <laughs> oh my god, they're all around me. Hello, babies. My host went out and I am here in charge of the kitchen, going to bake this lamp. Katrin already prepared it and she already uh, made some nice cuts here and she has given me some onions and stuff so I'm gonna improvise and see how is this nice piece of leg is gonna turn out to be for the dinner I think I am going to put some onions on the bottom of the lamb and probably season it with some peppers and cumins <laughs> this is really what I love like when I do this, when I cook, when I stay home, this is real peace. Unlike when you have to work, it's also fun, but it's not that peaceful. It's interesting that housewives, they get looked down on nowadays. If you are just staying at home with the kids or doing cooking or cleaning, these kind of things, it's like people look at you like you have no value to the society. Uh, I don't know. So, I placed some onions on the button of the lamp. Wow, the lamb already smells so good, but while it's being cooked, I am going to make some more fried rice. My host got me some spring onion, bell pepper, and broccoli. I'm gonna put some more bell peppers, so the color looks nicer. This is my fried rice recipe. Some onions, cucumber, carrot, and bell peppers, some broccoli, spring onions, of course, eggs. I am cooking some rice in this huge wok or pan. The secret of cooking rice in a pan is that you have to stir it from time to time. Otherwise, it will stick to the bottom. When you see it's getting dry, there's no liquid anymore, then you turn it down, cook it for another 10 or 15 minutes, otherwise the middle will be still raw. Thank you. 
的时间打的。重重的，心碎一片的可惜，以我的沃尔丹巨海装。真正平息下去好一点，而且还是用混的不算坏。而双面之手，何而来？但肯定那不是寻常之物。什么？这是一只纯金的圣杯，上面嵌满了宝石，金光中透着金的九百一十六年前，它是因你大的，请听下去。其人的尸体堆得跟成垛一样高，他们不堪。几天前，是你是食指的口袋吗？哇、wow, ，It smells so good. Can you see it? 我的先祖参加过最后一次。稍微停顿了一下。Wow, it looks like it's cooked well. Wow, wow, so tender. Wow. Let me try directly from the oven. So good. Mm, so good. Mm, it's cooked. I really like this sort of salad. We call it bird salad in Hungary. And it's very decorational. It's kind of tasty. It doesn't really have a taste, <laughs> okay? But I like to put some on the side of my dish or the middle of my dish. They tried. You did? Yes, it's so good. We were just talking, this is the best part of it, the third. Mmm, so good. Uh, I go to my host sister's place to help with the sheep slaughtering.